Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another Christmas tutorial that is beginner friendly and that you could do by yourself with my step-by-step -step instructions. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking, sharing and commenting. In this way you support my work and my channel and give me signals to continue with it. Check description for a Facebook page where you share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And you might also want to support me in PayPal by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now, without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are five colors of 11 on seed beads, white, green, red, golden and black. I'm also using earring findings. This is Nylon Nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters on size D. This is size 11 beading needle, but you could use size 10 or 12, it's up to you. Uh, these are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up 12 of those beautiful black beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I made. Then I'm pulling really gently like this. And what I want to do is one more knot. Okay. And now guys, I have this. What I want to do next is go through some beads in this direction. And I'm going to take two golden beads and one red bead. And as I'm exiting here, I'm skipping the bead that's on my way and I'm going through the following. And I pull. Then I take two white beads and one green bead. I skip one bead and I go through the following. Two goldens and one red. Skip one bead and go through the following. Two whites and one green. Skip one and go through the following. And again repeat two golden beads, one red. Skip one, go through the following. And two white beads, one green. And go through the very first black bead where you started the whole row from. Okay. Now I have this. In my next step, guys, I want to go through these two golden beads. And what I'm going to take next, guys, is one bead from the color I'm exiting out of and two beads of the next color. So I'm taking one golden and two red beads. And I'm going in the following. Then I take one white and two green beads, one of the color I'm exiting out of and two beads of the following color. That's on my way. And go through the following color. Then I take one golden and two red beads following the same formula and I go in the white one. One white and two greens go in the golden. One golden and two reds go in the white. And I'm going to take one white and two green beads and pay attention here. I'm going in the second golden. Don't make the mistake to go through the third one. Okay. Now I have this and then I'm going 
in the last golem. Okay. Okay, guys, and now I will continue by taking two bits of the color I'm exiting out of, which is golden in this case, and one black bead, and I go in the last bit of my next color, which is red. And I'm going to repeat these two bits from the color I'm exiting out of, plus a black one, and go in the next color. Two beads of the color I'm exiting out of plus black and go in the next one. Two greens, one black. Go in the golden. Two goldens, one black go in the red and I will continue showing this faster until the end of this row step and pay attention where you should should go through the third golden counting from the center okay I'm going through the third golden and don't worry that at this point your work might, might start bending we'll fix it in the next rows so in my next row I want to go through these two golden beads just like this Okay guys, and now I'm going to continue absolutely the same way. I take two beads of the color I'm exiting out of plus one black and I go in the next bead, just like this. Repeat again, two reds, one black. Go in the next color. Two whites, one black. Go in the next color. Two greens, one black, go in the next color. And because it is absolutely the same thing, I will let you continue this and I'll meet you here for the last step of this row. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step. Again, I take two of the color I'm exiting out of and one black bead. And now pay attention where I go through the fifth golden bead counting from here one two three four five this is the fifth one okay and with this my row is over and I'm ready to start the next row and how I started I go through two beads exiting out of this color the end of this color and I take three beads of the color I'm exiting out of plus one black bead and I go in the last bead of my next color. Let me show you again three beads of the color I'm exiting out of which is red and one black bead. And I go in the last bead of my next color. Three beads of the color I'm exiting out of plus one black and go in the last bead of my next color. Okay, so this is the formula and I will continue until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I need to add my last sequence and where I go, I go through the seventh golden bead counting from the center and I'm three beads away from the end okay and I go through the first of those three beads by the way if you want to continue this spiral you can just add 
four beads of the color you're exiting out of and one black bead, then five beads of the color you're exiting out of plus one bead. But now I will finish my work like this. I'm taking three golden beads and as I'm exiting through the first of those three goldens, I skip the next one and I go through the following. Okay, this is what I have. Then I go through the black and through the following golden and take three red beads, skip the one in the center and go through the next red and through the following black. Okay. Go in the first of the next three white beads, take three white beads and skip the one that's on my way and go through the following And I'm forming this cute triangle here. Then I go through the black and through the following green. Three greens, skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. Okay, and I'm going to continue adding three beads at the end of my work and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row, just like that. Okay, then what I would like to do is reach here And I'm going to take a golden, an earring finding and a golden. And I'm going back in circle through this red bead. And after that, I'm going to reinforce. Okay, then in my next step, I will go through some beads in this direction. I'm making here a loop, going twice through the loop I've made, pulling. And then I will go through some beads in this direction. And I will cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my Christmas Whirlpool earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. You also help me so much by liking, sharing and commenting. And in description you will find the full list of materials and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. And a lot of work goes in this video, so you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.